probably never in the history of political history of Sri Lanka would someone would have witnessed where you know citizens common man would have just breached the heavily guarded presidential palace to explore and catch a glimpse of what a luxury life Gotabaya Rajpaksa was actually living Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajpaksa's presidential palace has become a tourist spot. This, of course, looks like a cupboard, but it is not one because it opens and it leads to several floors, at least two floors down. Now, what we are going to do is just to show you like this, which the protesters have termed it as a secret bunker, but there is also a lift that operates through this particular secret bunker. As you just take these stairs to the ground floor, that is to the bottom floor, what we see is that there is one particular door that we spot. Now this, of course, which we understand, though the protesters have managed to break open several doors, managed to destroy you know, several properties inside within the presidential palace, there is one which they could not, of course, you know, uh, dismantle or break open. That is this particular door that you see right here. What several of the protesters, of course, have questioned is what can Gotabaya Rajpaksa be hiding inside this particular door? What could be behind this particular door? Now, that's the question, especially, um, you know, quite a lot of citizens would like to know. From enjoying the swimming pool to, uh, you know, playing a piano and then attending press conferences of their own, of the citizens themselves. Now, Clearly, the citizens are having a time inside a luxury life, which they call it, which once Gotabaya Rajpaksa had enjoyed in this very location. If I could go across to a few citizens, you know, what do you think, make of this? It's the power of the common people, undoubtedly, because it's, it's the power. That's what made us uh, come here, because normal people would never have access to places like this before. So it's all the power of the common people. It's, it's very proud. Now we showed the politicians they are here to govern us, for us to become better, not to use us for their lives. They just made their lives better and they pushed us to the brink. And they, we waited until we lost everything to realize that we have to take it back. presidential palace what did you see what i you... saw that they are having a luxury life than us actually we are leading a very poor life so we saw that uh, how they are living uh, and how they have the uh, everything they have so we don't have anything